Hello everybody, welcome back to the next part of Styx, Master of Shadows. We just arrived at Styx's hideout, so let's go see what we can find. There's not much on the lower levels to mess with right now. But this is your uh, safe zone, uh, your hub world, where you can upgrade yourself, your abilities, restock on supplies. Replay levels if you want to. But you can look around, there's not much to see. Here's another one of those screwed up texture things. This seems to be this particular texture in the game that's uh, screwed up. Yeah, there's a Ozkin replay, a mission, and skills. That's where we up upgrade our skills. We just need to be heading upward. But this area will become important later. Um, just uh, right now, it's safe. When you see these little bags too, uh, the soldiers will uh, eat out of them. Uh, there's also uh, bowls later that they'll drink out of, or fruit bowls they'll eat out of. But these are like feed sacks, or no, there's water in that, yeah. So you can poison it. <laughs> he just hawks a little loogie in there. And if they drink out of it afterward, then uh, they'll basically die. front here. It's going to auto walk in here at the moment. Not a bad hideout, Oscan. It's dripping with just enough moisture to save me from getting parched lips. Hmm. This might sound strange, but can you remind me how we met? You're right. It does sound strange. You must have taken a nasty blow to the noggin. It's lucky we met, especially for you. You wanted to know some stuff, and I wanted to recover some stuff. You're good at stealing, I'm good at dealing. It didn't take long to come to an understanding. That's how it works in the bowels. Yeah, uh, it's coming back to me, I think. Listen, I gotta get to the Akanash archives. Any idea of the best way to get there? The library, eh? I can show you the way through the sewers, yeah. But what can someone like you do in there? I know it's none of my business, right? I'm looking for a map of the atrium. I can't always rely on the guidance of a blind old man. The plans, eh? In that case, one of my men, Hector, a copyist, could be your guide in this labyrinth. And how do I find, uh, what's his name? The Marks. I'll tell Hector and he'll leave some for you. You just have to follow them. Understood. And while we're on the subject, you know a safe way out of this tower? When I'm done here, I don't plan on hanging around longer than I have to. You want to leave the atrium? You could hop on an airship, but you'd still have to know when one is leaving. It can be months before the order is given to send one. So, who gives the orders? I don't know. It's paperwork. It's irritating, you understand? I don't like to strain the eyes. But I happen to know that all the signed orders are stored in the transport office. You could uh, forge one to suit your plans. Hmm, I'll try it. Thanks for the info. Well, I'm off. Oh, wait. If you wanted to thank me, you could maybe bring me back something from the library? Go on. I've heard that a renowned treatise on alchemy is hidden there. The kind of book that's so radical that it was placed under a glass cover. Good. If I find it, I'll bring it back for you. See you later. Oh, one last thing. You're the rough and ready type, aren't you? If I were to ask you to 
eliminate someone for me, would you do it? Quietly, without making waves? You're starting to ask a lot. If I do it, it better be worth it for me. Don't worry, I fully understand that my eternal gratitude will not suffice. Anyway, in the docks, should you cross the path of a laborer called Godbert, make sure he has a little accident. I didn't appreciate it. Enough with the life story. We do some business, that's fine by me. As long as you pay. See you later. Well, let's go to the embassy for this airship business, and then I'll go to the archives to look for the maps. In your hideout, you can learn new skills by spending the SPs acquired in-game. Load up with items that will be useful for your next mission. Contemplate the stolen relics. And finally, replay missions that you have completed in order to gain more skill points. Right. So, as I was going to say, when you first walk in here, there's a little pickup for sand if you need to refill it. And over here is where the relics get stored. There's the one we collected. It's like a Flava Flav necklace. All right. And they'll just line the shelves and stuff the more you get. And then you can refill your goodies here. We don't need anything, so. Over here is where you do your skills, and here's where you can replay missions. Because you can still get swiftness, mission completed in 18 minutes, mercy, no enemy killed, or shadow, no alert triggered. And that just gets you more skill points. I don't know how many points, but probably at least 20 or more. But uh, one of the bugs or glitches in this game I read about on PC Game Wiki said that uh, replaying missions from here can uh, screw things up in the game uh, or cause you to get kind of soft locked uh, where you're stuck, I guess, in a hideout and you can't progress forward. So all I'm concerned with is completing the missions in each level, getting the relic and getting the coins. But this is where you'd replay missions. So let's upgrade our skills here. And I definitely am going to grab cover kill. You can kill an enemy while under the protection of cover if the enemy is within striking range. It costs 40. So we've learned that. Um not too concerned with aerial kills right at the moment. Sound of alert if an enemy's around. It's only if you're invisible. Make less noise when you hit the ground. Yeah, you do have to take them in a uh, sequence from left to right. You can't just pick this last one if you wanted it. You have to get the ones before it first. Equipment would be good as well, but not as important. I think I'm going to take that so we make less sound. When we hit the ground, your rolls and dodges are more effective avoiding the blows of your enemy. It's not that important because I'm avoiding melee. Easier to identify all collectible items. And then maybe I'll take carry an extra vial. That'll leave me with 10. You have to have at like at least 20 to get anything. But cover kill is the most important thing right now. So 
that's good. Let's uh, make a new save. And hide out. 4% complete. Menu available only during missions, so we can't look at the sub menus. And I was able to take that now because I'm able to carry three of those, but only two of the amber vials. Okay, so we're good to leave. So start. That's the next next level. Transport office is at the center of the embassy. Distinguished diplomats, you will have a surprise invitee at the negotiating table. Okay. Let's do another save. So this has four parts. objective you must infiltrate the embassy without delay 10 coins Hakanash atrium now that you are well equipped you will be able to set your plan into motion if you want to find your way through the maze this maze and reach the heart of the tree you must first get a hold of plans of the atrium according to this old goat Ozcan they are hidden somewhere in the library with what you know, the quickest way to reach the library is go through the embassy close to the landing stage. It will be far from a walk in the park, but you should be able to avoid those idiot guards if you are careful enough. Most are high on amber. It will be a piece of cake. So we are on the landing stage and the relic for this uh, area level is the incinerator. There's a bridge with the barrel that you're supposed to look across from and then you'll see an opening over there near a column. It's an incinerator. And I believe we are right here. Like a uh, fire pit a bell with uh, guards, statue guards, some kind of pulley lift. This is one of the airships, and then some flags, uh, symbols on them. All right. So this is a cool kind of outdoors area. There's an airship. So that tells you right where we are. We can see the airship from here. We have the cover kill now, so I'll show you how that works. There. Just get up towards the edge and stay sucked to the wall, and as he gets closer, just right when you see the command, that's all you got to do. See you later, dude. Off to oblivion. So yeah, a lot of these guys, you can just whistle them over to you now and uh, kill them from a corner. As nobody sees you do it, it didn't happen. Stop. 
a lot easier now, isn't it? <laughs> See you later. See you later. Okay. Still got to be looking for coins, though. Could be anywhere, literally. There's one on the table right there. There's a guard up there, chilling. Can go up this way as well. Guys walking. I think we'll wait to go that way. This way is a little safer, I think. Whoa. Yeah, reload. Sometimes that happens. Land on one of these frickin' things and get burnt. Okay. Should be able to get this guy for quiet. <laughs> Almost. Somewhere there. Not quite close enough. Well, I must have been dreaming. No, you weren't dreaming. But you're gonna be now. Got a guy banging on the wall up there, whatever he's doing. This guy's up there. Hide him in a dark spot, at least. Get this other guy. Fuck you. I haven't even taken any ammo. Sometimes when you call them over to you like that, they don't, uh, they don't hug the wall or the corner close enough and you won't get the prompt for cover kills. That's why it's a good idea to just, you know, quick save often. <laughs> no! 
Sometimes it's worth getting up into high areas like this so you can look on the top of things because a lot of times a coin or something will be sitting on top of one of these. There's dudes up above us. Gotta be careful. Time to take a stroll alone, buddy. Crap. He's gonna see him freak out. He got done in. Don't have doors on them. Guess I'll just leave them here. <laughs> There's a coin. Two of ten. So there's a few different ways to attack this level, different directions you can go. matter which way we pick, just pick a way, start going that way. The areas link up eventually. So this guy was walking around. Here another guy banging, I think it's above though. Try to get this uh, bald guy walking around. shame you should have an option to like pull pull the dude Sometimes they shift positions and go between two areas that they uh, work on. Hey, 
What's up, man? <laughs> There's a coin. If I can get this guy somehow. Not alerting the other guy. So he's gonna get alerted. What's yeah. going on over there? He heard him. It's over for him. It's over for you too. Sticks. Take a sip of drink. Okay, you got a dude right there. There's another guy up there who turns around. This dude's walking. There's another leaner. He's got a knife on him. There's a vial sitting there. Okay. Don't see me. I can get this guy, but not with that dude watching. Have to wait for another cycle here. Okay, now he's turning around. This guy's coming back though. Sometimes the different uh, AI get in a weird sync, and you can't never really do what you want to do. see it. Down the stairs you go, buddy. <laughs> that never gets old. That's funny to watch. What's going on over there? Okay, that didn't work out too good there. I thought it was only going to alert one of them. Of course, everybody comes. Should get the guy up here, probably. First. enough. Well, it wasn't anything after all. No, it was. Now, what is going on over there? Get 
this guy. This guy. Oh shit. Shit's right. You're not gonna get me, dude. Don't let it get away. You Let aren't getting me. You. You'll see how I deal with monsters like you. Toss a knife at him, but that's what he gets. All right, guys, we're going to stop the video here. Uh, <laughs> can't believe I just threw a knife at him. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.